I'm originally from Manchester in England. I grew up in the city areas of Manchester. At the time, I was given the opportunity through school to attend some sailing and kayaking lessons at a, a local water sports center in Debdale Park in Manchester, where I'm from. I was probably around 10 or 11 years old at this time. During that time, I got into kayaking and sailing and I joined the after school club. When I got to around 13 or 14 years old, I was still actively kayaking and sailing and I decided that maybe I could do this as a career when I left school. So I started to spend all of my time and spare time at the local sailing centre learning to sail and kayak and also learning how to teach and work with groups of people. This took over my life to the point where I maybe forgot about school and started to kayak and sail all of the time. I got to the age of going to college and as most people do when they get to that age, again I forgot about my studies and spent most of my time on the water. By the time I got to around 18 years old, I was kayaking and sailing pretty much all of the time and I now had a job as an instructor at the centre where I learned to sail and kayak. Um, I had a group of friends and in our holidays and in our spare time we would spend our time travelling around Europe and we would be kayaking the rivers of the Alps, France, Germany, Austria and Switzerland and I decided that for my 21st birthday I would like to do something big so I decided to go to Nepal kayaking for, for three weeks. I came home three months later my mother was quite angry, but I'd had such a good time kayaking in Nepal, I decided to stay a little bit longer. During all of this time, I was constantly getting new awards and coaching, and really decided that a life in kayaking and sailing was for me. did a little bit more traveling and it got to the point where around 2001 because I'd been doing so much kayaking my wrists were quite badly injured so I had to take a few years off. During this time I was uh, bartending and working behind bars making cocktails but that didn't last for too long as I then decided that I had to get back into kayaking and canoeing and sailing. <laughs> I ended up in Iceland uh, to go work as a, a kayaker and a raft guide for the season in, in 2007 and straight away my first 24 hours in Iceland were quite eventful. I ended up coming out of my kayak on a, a really uh, big river and having a little bit of a walk. To make a long story short, uh, 60 people were sent out looking for me, uh, the local police were involved and I made the front page of the Icelandic newspaper the next morning, so quite an impact in my first 24 hours in Iceland. I then spent quite a few seasons working on the East Glacial River in Iceland, where I can say it's probably one of my favourite rivers in the world. So many adventures, met so many good people working there. And that was where I met Mia, my partner from Finland, and I just started to then have my year based over three seasons. I would be kayaking in Iceland in the summer. We would then travel to Nepal and do some rafting and more kayaking on the rivers in Nepal in the winter time. And then in the deep winter from December until April, Mia introduced me to Finland, which is where I live now. We then spent a few winters in Finland and during the summertime I started to get more qualifications for rafting. In 2013 I had the idea that I would like to become an instructor for the International Rafting Federation. This basically allowed me to travel around the world and teach people to become raft guides which was great because I got to travel and work on the rivers at the same time. During this time as well, I also thought that I'd like to make everything a little bit better and have more of an offering. So I decided to chase the career path of becoming an instructor for Rescue 3, 
and Rescue 3 are the biggest provider of whitewater rescue training courses and swift water training courses in the world.